Hey, so in this video, we are going to look at how to find the sum of the first seven terms of this particular series, right? So we have the series and it's an arithmetic progression, right? Um, and to get the sum of the first seven terms, what do we do? So there's a standard formula that allows you to find the sum of the first n terms of an arithmetic progression. And that formula is given as Sn, which is the sum of n terms is equal to n by 2 times a plus a n where a is the first term and a n is the nth term right now as we can see here we have the first three terms of the series right but we don't have the seventh term so we have to first find the seventh term of the arithmetic progression then use it to compute the sum so how do you find the seventh term simple we have a formula for that right so First of all, a, which is the first term, is 5. We need to know the common difference, which is the difference between the, the you know, the adjacent terms. So, a, d is 9 minus 5, which is 4. 13 minus 9 is also 4. So, the common difference is 4. And so, now the nth term can be given as a plus n minus 1 d. So, a7 is given as a, which is 5, plus n minus 1, so 7 minus 1 is 6, times d is 4, 6 fours are 24, plus 5 is 29. So now we've got a7 as 29. Now to get the sum of the first 7 terms, you say as 7 is equal to 7 by 2 times 5, which is the first term, plus 29, which we've just computed. Right? So now 29 plus 5 is 34. 7 by 2 times 34 is 119. So that is the sum of the first 7 terms of this arithmetic progression, right? So that's that's quite interesting, right? And it's quite simple. You didn't have to get every term and add it up. I mean, you just have a simple form. Let's look at another example. Now, if you have a doubt while prepping for an exam or a test, you can also go to teacher.com which is our platform and you can search here for free for you know the concepts so here I have just said arithmetic progression and it has the different concepts regarding arithmetic progressions click on for example the sum of the first 10 terms and then you get you know a content card which describes the concept gives you some examples um, we are adding tests and examples you know fairly quickly so you can use this as a nice reference as well so let's get back to the next example so now we have to find the sum of the first 21 terms of this series, right? Okay, wow. And it's an arithmetic progression as well. So same formula, sum of the n terms, first n terms is n by 2 times a plus a n. So a is 2. The common difference is 5 minus 2 is 3. We also, just to check, 8 minus 5 is 3. So the common difference is 3. Now, First, we need to find the nth term. So, we need to find the 21st term. So, that's, you know, using the formula a n is a plus n minus 1 d. So, a 21 is a, which is 2 plus 20 minus, 21 minus 1 is 20 times 3, which is the common difference. So, 23 is a 60, 60 plus 2 is 62. And now, to get the sum, so the sum is 21 by 2, because n is 21 times 2 plus 62, right, because we've got 2 which is a and 62 we've just computed. So 21 by 2 times 64 and that is 672. So again we haven't had to write out, you know, all the 21 terms, we've just found out the 21st term and use that to compute the sum. So hopefully this is super clear to you. Thank you.